In this tutorial, I'm going to show you absolute positioning. Now, what I have right here is a very simple HTML document that is essentially constructed of three divs. Div container 1, 2, and 3. I haven't assigned these things any other properties except for the background color so we could easily see what we're looking at over here. Um, so what I'm going to do is absolutely position one of these elements and give it a top and right value. Uh, every time you use positioning, you always you tend to use a top left, right, or bottom uh, attribute with it because that'll dictate where it's going to go. So first thing I'm going to do is just put in position, and then I'll select absolute, and I'm doing this for one. And I'm going to go top, let's say 200 pixels, and I'll do left 50 pixels. And let's look at the result. Let me save it. So look what happened. This is what our, before in the normal flow, one was on top. But then once I put it in absolute positioning, one is down here. So what happened is, as soon as I put div1 in absolute positioning, it just totally disregards the normal flow of the document. So essentially this thing, uh, 2 and 3 don't even know about 1 anymore. 2 is going to go right up above 1 and it's going to be behind it. And then I could position 1 wherever I wanted. So I gave 1 the attributes, what did I give it? 200 pixels from the top. So now the distance between 1 from the top of the browser chrome over here is 200 pixels from the top and from the left it's I believe 50 pixels right so that's essentially what absolute positioning did now if I do two let's let me give absolute positioning to two as well okay so now two just went on and it almost looks like it overlapped three well essentially what happened is three forgot that two existed because it's out of the normal flow and now I could position two wherever I want so maybe what I'll do is I'll say for div two I'll say from the top why don't you go um, 700 pixels down so it'll drop it actually dropped beyond what we could see now and from the right why don't you go 300 pixels so now let's see what the result of this is okay so now we see that 2 has from the right it has the attributes going for it and 700 from the top okay now what am I left with I guess I'm left with 3 and if I absolutely position three, choose absolute, and then give it a property, maybe we'll say five, uh, we'll go top 500 and right 40. And then we'll see what the results of this is. And there we go. So you see how absolute positioning allows you to basically take your document out of the regular flow and here's actually the important thing. You position it relative to its parent container and since we haven't discussed relative at any point over here and you notice that in my CSS code I have nothing, like if you look over here, when you look at all these I have nothing that refers to relative positioning what ends up happening is that all these items are positioned relative to the browser chrome which is the outer border of the browser so if you set an element to be positioned absolutely then you give it say a top of a hundred pixels that means it's going to offset itself a hundred pixels from the top of the browser chrome and that's essentially absolute positioning.